Well, hey y'all, happy Monday. Well, welcome back. So, I had a ton of fun at the Great American Seed Up, and I actually ended up getting a lot more seeds than I thought I was going to get. So, today, we're going to take a quick little tour, and we've got some fun things that are blooming and growing in our garden, and we've had a revival of sorts um, with some plants, so we're excited about that. So, in this video, we're going to take a little tour of the garden, and then I'm going to show you some highlights of our visit to the Great American Seed Seed up and at the end I'll show you my bag of seeds and um, a book I got from there and I'll chat with you about how much money I spent and then we'll wrap it up and on another day I'll share with you exactly what seeds I got from the Great American Seed Up so let's get to the tour okay so today I decided to start over here with these uh, um, these are temporary beans and I actually planted these during monsoon season but because we didn't really get much of a monsoon season and we weren't watering these because you're not really supposed to nothing ever really happened with these beans but my husband just was like you know what i'm going to start watering them more and so um, because this is not set up on any kind of watering system and we were trying to follow the monsoon guidelines but we started giving it a little bit of water and it's super super happy now so hopefully before it gets too chilly we'll get some beans out of that Last week, just as I was about to come over here and start pulling this bed apart, um, my husband pointed out to me that there was actually a bunch of new growth going on. And so, I don't know what happened with, you know, the rest of the plant that got angry and shriveled up. But, as you can see, there's just a bunches and bunches of new plants um, growing in here. So, everything that was unhappy is pretty much shriveled away and is gone. And maybe it's because it's cooler. Um, maybe that's why it's exploding right now. But I mean, there's so many new, beautiful, happy leaves and everything is starting to super vine out. So maybe we're still gonna get some uh, sweet potatoes. And underneath here, this is the tomato plant that needs to get wound up in that cage in some way. But it's not flowering yet, but there's a dango revival of the sweet potato bed. <laughs> Over here in the jungle, we've got this uh, happy thing going all the way up to there. Just lots of flowers and it's, I think this is at least two different plants in here. I think this is some ole, uh, no. Some Armenian, I think there's a cantaloupe interlooped in here. And obviously there's the watermelon looped in there. and. Let's see what color that is on the other side. Yep, it's got just a little bit of yellow. But that yellow in there is kind of what you're looking for for ripeness. And then we cut off two at least 14 inch Armenian cucumbers and I'll show you right here the girls holding those. So yeah, we've got a, we're gonna eat those this week. And it looks like there's another little watermelon down there. So this is covered in flowers and it's covered in bees, needless to say, every day. And last week was just like rain crazy. So it was super wet out here and everything is just really happy. And I don't think these are bells. I think these are poblanos because they're going out long but i guess we don't really know until we get to that point but if you'll see like look there's flower heads ready to come out everywhere and there's more than one pepper on here there's at least three peppers so always remember that if your peppers don't do well in the summer just baby them through the winter and they'll do their best then and of course here's the rest of the armenian coming out of here and so we'll see some more coming out of that soon too look here see that big bee he's inside that cantaloupe <laughs> look at that oh yes get it get it too bad there's no females around for you right now but look at that the 
pumpkin's so happy it's wrapping up the ladder. So I gotta take a picture for my friend at Miracle Haven Garden because she's the one that got me this ladder. She gave it to me when I go went to go visit her this summer, Christy. And um, so here goes the rest of that. The Armenian is coming to invade into this bed too. And there's a lot of bee activity around it. And this is a lot of stuff. This is the Armenian now. There's also a squash in there coming down from there. I believe that's a blue Hubbard. And then there's a squash going out there. In here there's lots of Armenians. There's one. They're hard to find. My husband's good at finding them. Oh, look, there's one. And, um, and it's just going crazy. It comes all the way over to here. And then we will also go a look. This bee's, the bee's like, get away from me. Go ahead, I'm not gonna bother that flower. Anyway, we need to leave the bee alone, but right here is, I'm pretty sure this is a spaghetti squash. And it's got a female down there, but it doesn't, it's the flower's not ready yet. I think this is a butternut. You know me, I'm so behind on my chores. But here's the sage. <laughs> I'm gonna cut it down again. I'm just in time for all my mint. Look, I could actually come out here and get some mint for some mint water. Looks like some bees using it, so no problem. We've got some blooms coming out over here on my first successful Anazi, so I'm super thrilled about that. Some of my seedlings are doing okay. The kale's over there doing all right, but I think they really need a little bit more sun over here. And after another week or two, I'm probably going to take this okra out. It's, I'll show you when we get over there in a minute why I think that. But here's the tomato. And I'm telling you, she better start doing something with these flowers or she's going to be out. This loofah is going crazy. There's another female. There's a female over here. It's covered in flowers. We're talking about, there's another, yeah, I already said that. We're talking about doing something across here because they'll just keep on going you know because here's one right here trying to attach to something there's a pretty loofah flower and i don't know if i ever talked about um why i'm so crazy for the loofahs and that's because danny um from out in where is she like mesa i think that we went to go visit her yard. She gave me a piece of loofah that she harvested and it's the best thing to wash dishes with. This okra plant here, I'm gonna keep this okra plant almost for as long as it'll go because it produces every day and it's awesome and we love it. There's so many bouquets all over it and that's what I mean by bouquet. So many all over it that are ready to just create way more okra than probably one family could handle i mean up here there's at least five or six crowns ready to come out now this one you can see is kind of starting to thin out and as it gets to the top it doesn't have a whole lot going on whereas this one just keeps on going um so it's got a couple of bouquets on here not nearly as many as this mamma jamma over here uh, so we're gonna let it do its thing for a little bit until you know it gets through the couple of crowns that it's got and i think the one on the front has so many because i'm constantly thinning it and trimming it out and when i do that it just causes more and more crown sets to come out now i'm gonna have to learn which ones because obviously i'm doing by accident <laughs> but if you want more crown sets then i would recommend trimming your okra because this one hasn't got hacked on as much and that's okay because i'd rather take it out soon and give some more light to this bed um, but we got some little blooming going down here and there's another that bee must have followed me but uh yeah this is what's going on and there's a big loofah bouquet right there so this is bed one and you know we're excited we've got some good things going on hey everybody it's me jerry and i'm here at the great american seat up it's friday night and the place is buzzing with lots of activity there's so many wonderful seeds to see and i'm super excited 
I've got my whole big full bag of seeds, and I told myself I didn't really need that many seeds. But I bought bunches of wheat, and I bought bunches of tomatoes, and I can't wait to share with you everything that I got. So we'll take a tour around, and I'll show you a couple things, and hopefully I get to see your face this weekend. Getting some blue Hubbard squash for my friend, a Little Miss Wannabe Home Center. She couldn't be here today, so I told her I would get her some seeds. And these are actually the blue Hubbard, and I've got some of these growing. And this is what it's gonna look like. So I got your seeds. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed checking out all the little things that we've got growing on in the garden and our little highlights from going to the Great American Seed Up. So, the book that I got from the Great American Seed Up is this basic seed saving book by Bill Dorman. Now, there's a couple of things that I feel pretty good about in regards to saving seeds, but otherwise, when it comes to finding out about new things, I have to Google it. So, I'm really excited to dig into this book by Bill um, as a handy guide. I'll probably read it from to back and then I'll have some ideas in my head and I'll also have this as a quick reference. Then for the seeds that I bought, well this is how many seeds I bought. It's a pretty good pack of seeds and I promise you I didn't buy anything that I already had and I got like three different packs of seeds for a friend of mine and but ultimately I got some cool things that are really unique and like I said I'm going to chat with you on another day what those are and why I got them but I do want to tell you and I'm not normally one to talk about money but I spent $50 at the Great American Seed Up. Now that that included my the day that I bought seeds. So the day that I bought seeds for my husband and I, our tickets plus this $5 book and this big bag of seeds, which is about over 19 packs of seeds, um, cost me about $50. So the book and our entry fee was $20 and this bunch of seeds was $30. So that's a pretty huge savings when you think about what you could do with the $30 at a nursery or at one of the big box stores to buy some seeds. And we all know that these seeds are, have already done well here in the low desert and are going to be really great for my garden. So I can't wait to share with you what's in the bag. But till next time, I hope you have the best day ever and thank you so much for always coming back and checking out what we've got here going on in our garden.